Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Victory. I used to play Arkanoid on my Atari ST. A great game, and then all my arcade emulators, I play it there. Love it. Arkanoid on the Taito Table Pack is my first deep dive of these tables, and not sure it's deep enough to call it a tutorial, but we'll call it a strategy guide, okay? We're going to try and hit about, oh, somewhere in the six, seven hundred thousand range, and that's about it. I'll see you on the table. All right, here we go, Arkanoid. A very busy looking table, as you can see. The play field is, boy, it's all over the place, isn't it? Probably the neatest feature are the drop down targets in the middle that represent the video game, which I love. All these little arrows, though, I hope they do a refresh and take those out. That's not necessary. They all say the same thing 1,000 points advance bonus. Okay, we get it. <laughs> There's a left orbit and a right orbit. The right orbit's got three drop-down targets that you you get 1,000, 5,000, and 10,000 points for. You've got the saucer up top. That's, that's the main feature of the table that you need to deal with. The saucer does different things. It gives you a little light-up 10,000-point bonus here and here, depending on which of those white lights are lit when you land in it. The most important one to me is you advance the one through five. If you get all those advanced, you get an extra ball, which I love extra balls, and that's that's the way to keep your game going. Here's, here's the big key. Here's the big takeaway. You can watch this and turn it off, because otherwise it's just going to be me playing. I don't even screw with the drop-down targets uh, that represent Arkanoid. It's neat. You get some points for it, and it's cool, but you're going to die. You're going to die. It's going to come down the middle. You're gonna, these outlanes are some of the worst outlanes I've ever seen for losing the ball. I try and completely stay away from them. When I play this game, I'm going up the orbits on the left and right, period. Now, it's going to bounce around, obviously. You're going to hit some of those sometimes, but I don't go for them on, on purpose. That's basically it, man. Uh, we're going to talk about this left spinner, too, while we play, because it's a it's pretty wonky. Anyway, let's play. Uh, six, seven hundred thousand would be awesome, okay? That would get us in the top ten right now, so let's go for it. Okay, Arkanoid, let's go. Uh, interesting table. Let's get in that saucer. Come on. Hey, there we go. Lit up the first of the first, or the uh, five red lights towards the bon the bonus, which is an extra ball. Love that. Now, each of those white lights that rotate through there, you get that when you land in the saucer. The center one, I think, is real important because it advances towards the extra ball potential. And arguably the most important is the one on the far right. That one's huge because what that does is that gives you your 10x bonus. So the bonus goes to 10,000. You're going to hit that. Every one of these little targets around the whole field advance your bonus. So you're going to get to 10,000. Having that times 10 bonus lit is huge. And that is the right side light up there. So... Basically, it all comes down to just hitting it in the orbits over and over again. You get decent points in the right orbit by knocking down those drop targets, a total of 16,000 points, so that, you know, that's fine. Get in there. Yes, okay, cool. All right. See, I got my advance all the or my bonus all the way up to ten thousand. That's cool. Light up my left special here. Now you get ten thousand points if you go in that outlane there, but you also die. So, eh, who cares, right? Now I love the Arkanoid blocks in the middle. They capture the video game beautifully with that. Um, I think that Taito missed the boat when it came to that aspect on some of the other games. Uh, for instance, elevator action. They should have had a little elevator that went up and down one of the sides as you hit certain things and, you know, accomplish certain goals. I think that would have been really cool. The more you can do to really capture the flavor of the video game it's based on is good. But this one, they didn't miss the boat. This one, they got right as far as that goes. 
interesting. All oh, right, there we go. There's my what? Oh, it didn't go in the hole. Okay. Um, one thing they didn't get right on this game is the outlanes. Number one, just brutal outlanes. See, I missed that 10x bonus. Dang it, that would have been a hundred grand. It's just oof, brutal. The left spinner, you notice you got the three lights that light up 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. Here's the thing you don't get that bonus for every spin. Oh, come on now. See this table. Oof, love hate relationship, mostly hate. But you don't get that lit up bonus for every spin. You get it for the first one. You get that bonus for going through the left orbit, but you only get a lot lower points each time it spins. And I say a lot lower points because it seems completely random. Sometimes I get 100 per spin. Other times it's 500 or 1,000. It's weird. I wish they were more consistent with it. And I knew that what the heck was going on, but it is what it is. So another frustrating thing is when you light up this one through five towards your extra ball, if you lose your ball and have to start over, it resets. I think they really could have made it a lot more fun <laughs> had they had that stay lit so that you have more of a chance to get that extra ball because I'll be honest with you, this game is brutal and I'm no pinball wizard, but I'm okay. And I just die a lot on this game like that there we go it's just a lot less fun than it should be i want it to be a lot more fun Three hundred seventeen thousand for me that's a pretty good score there we go that's arkanoid guys i, I rate it six and a half out of ten i want to like it more i really do but there's just certain things about it that uh could be a lot better anyway i appreciate you guys watching thanks so much we'll see you on the next one bye